today. Hey there, today you will learn four travel hacks for packing light. This is a minimalist guide for packing less weight. These packing hacks will mean that you will not have to pay baggage fees for that airline. I'm going to give you some of the tips and tricks that I have learned from packing in a carry-on suitcase for over 20 years. And I have divided all of these tips and tricks into four hacks for packing less or packing lightweight items for your next trip. Now, in a carry-on suitcase, you are going to think differently with each packing hack. Now, the number one hack is going to help you trade out larger, bulky items for smaller, lightweight items. And remember that a hack is a tip or trick that helps you pack in a different item or in a different way. That means you will not have to pay baggage fees. So one thing that we are going to trade out in our carry-on suitcase to help us pack light is a passport booklet. There are two lighter weight items that you can use to pack your passport for your next trip. One, you cannot pack anything and just pack that passport in an easily accessible pocket or a hidden pocket in your carry-on bags. Or number two is to pack it in a lighter weight waistband or a money belt like the ugly classic kinds that people would travel with years ago. This one will fit two passports standing up beside each other and it also has a zippered pocket. It's not RFID but it's less weight. Another lightweight item that you can pack if you absolutely have to is instead of a crossbody bag or a belt bag, you can pack a lighter weight, thin crossbody or lanyard type bag that will hold almost as much. It might fit under your clothes, but that doesn't matter. We're thinking about less weight. And this bag has like 11 pockets, I think. If I absolutely have to pack light, I'm going to want a lighter weight item or a smaller sized item. And this one would be lighter weight while still having, I think five or six pockets. Instead of packing a full dop kit or a toiletry kit, you may want to divide your toiletries into smaller pouches. One tip is that pouches can fit in smaller pockets of open space in your carry-on bags. Another reason you may want to only pack in a pouch or two is it, it gives you a boundary in which to pack. Hacks help you trick your brain. And so that's what I hope to help you do today. I am a pilot wife. And like I said, I've packed in a carry-on suitcase for over 20 years. So I've learned a few tips and tricks based on my many mistakes. <laughs> If space is an issue, one thing you can trade out is a container for your shampoo for a dry solid shampoo bar. I got mine from Lush. They are near my house. So I was able to ask them specific scalp questions and they uh, found the right one for me. If you have a normal scalp when packing for vacation, you can just use the hotel's shampoo or buy your toiletry items at your vacation location. Take it from me, when I was in Cancun, I decided to buy a large spray bottle of sunscreen and it was 50 US dollars. I just assumed that that was in pesos. <laughs> One other packing hack that may help you is that you may not need to use a smaller container. Like this is, this is not a smaller container, but it holds less fluid ounces, but it's bulky to me. So I would trade out this one for a skinnier one, or maybe I'll just use a travel sized one that might be thin for that trip. If you are even more restricted for weight, you may want to swap out a travel pouch for your toiletry items for, with a plastic sandwich bag or something that is super lightweight. I have a whole video about how you can use plastic baggies for packing that I will link for you in the iCards. You can go to that at any time. The next packing hack is one that I don't know if you're going to agree with me on. If you pack jewelry, I want to know how you protect it or protect it in the carry-on suitcase. I have this one and I love it because I can pack it like this. And because I pack a minimum amount of jewelry, I would only detach this part and then slip it inside like a sandal or a shoe for added protection. 
that is very lightweight but you can also use a gallon sized baggie instead of this item it's not very heavy but a gallon baggie is so much less weight than this but what you would do is you would put in a gallon baggie all of your long bulky necklaces or bracelets and then you would roll down your gallon bag and use hair ties or really strong rubber bands to secure each end and it will not let your jewelry uh, tangle but jewelry adds weight so let us know if you do pack jewelry just the other day my husband wanted to pack in only a backpack and y'all he is so excited about only packing in a backpack for vacation because he has to travel with his suitcase and heavy backpack all of the time. He started foraging through the house looking for less weight items. So he came to me and asked if I had a travel size toothbrush that he could use instead of his electronic toothbrush. And there's a little tip, hotels have told me that an electronic toothbrush charger is one of the top two most uh, forgotten items in hotels. The second one was your phone charger. <laughs> one item that I like to pack is a little tray for my bedside table in the hotel so I will not forget my jewelry or my phone charger maybe or my key card but this has just a little bit of weight. You could use a scrap piece of paper or find someone in your family to make a little little tray like that for your bedside table um, that might be just as lightweight. My friend Elena's mom made that for me. You can trade out your RFID wallet for your crossbody bag that has slots in it and only take those cards. One travel tip for packing light is to think to yourself with every item you're going to use. Can I be okay with packing in this item or using this lesser weight item for a five day trip? If you cannot do without it, then pack that travel essential. But if you absolutely are restricted from your airline to pack only a certain amount of weight or in only a certain sized carry-on bag, then these tips will help you. The tips and tricks that I have learned are only because I had to pack in a carry-on suitcase and we do not check our bags because if we don't get on that airplane's flight, then they would delay the flight trying to pull our bags off of the airplane. So here are some more containers that may help you pack light. You can use a sandwich baggie to pack your pills in or dry medicine in little bags like this. I love these. They come in like 35 and they're easy for fingers to open and get down into. You'll see that I packed my floss stick in it. Just I only needed one for a three day trip. Instead of a pill organizer that's heavier, that will help you pack light. Here is my moisturizer and it is only three ounces. I know in one of my shorts, people were like, that is a way too big container. There's no way that would be allowed in my on my airline, but it is only 3.0 ounce, ounces, but it is very watery. So I do not want to decant that into a small container because I do not trust them yet. Um, so I do make room for this container. So you have to pack light for the things that absolutely matter for your vacation that, that particular trip. I like to pack Gold Bond for Diabetics lotion because it is odor free and it is super thick. And on my vacation last week, you'll notice that it did not move overnight. And I flew in one of those super small airplanes because we were going to Knoxville and I had to check my carry on suitcase. The pressure was not as balanced as it usually is in cabin. So I was worried that some of my liquids would leak, uh, but they did not. So instead of packing in a travel size like this, these are the only ones I recommend for not leaking. But I have these types and I bought a brand new one to try because I knew my bag was going to get checked into the belly of the airplane on those 50 seater airplanes. But those are smaller sized if I am wanting less weight or if you need more space in your liquids bag. Another item that you may want to trade out is one that my friend used when we went to Nashville. She had her balm of like makeup remover and she did not need that entire container. It's like this big for a four night trip. 
she could pack light by trading that container for a small container like this, especially since balm is so thick. And if you have not used a spatty, they are great for getting to the very bottom of those really large containers. And if you have something thick like that, you can use that to decant it into a smaller container like that. These new ones come in a set of four, but it looks like a little Pac-Man with a hat on, but they do say on the description to not let anything come in between the seal, okay, or it will leak. But I put my very watery regular shampoo in one because I knew it was going into the belly of the airplane and you'll notice that it did not leak at all. And it was like a two, two hour flight. Even for packing Vaseline, I have had this Vaseline in here for probably four years. Do I need to have that much in the container? No, because it goes such a long way. So only put the amount that you need. And one tip is you can test how much shampoo you need by putting it in a container like this and using it for a few days to see how much or how far it will get you. Another travel item you can trade out if you need to pack light is do not pack the cup holder sleeve that fits over your carry-on suitcase handles for walking through the airport. You're, it's going to get in the way of your backpack or tote bag that you're going to go up, put over there and you really do not need it. <laughs> if some of you watched my beat jet lag for a long haul flight video, you'll see that I recommended you pack a foot swing that it helps with the circulation of your legs but you can also pack and let me know if you agree with this hack you can also pack just an inflatable beach ball and the tip is that you do not have to inflate it all the way you just want your feet to come off of the ground a few inches and then i packed my yeti for my trip to knoxville because i did not need to pack very much in my suitcase but instead of packing that a lighter choice would be to pack a collapsible water bottle let us know what your airline restrictions are for your personal item bag size or weight, as well as your carry-on bag suitcase. I just really think that airlines are trying to make us check luggage now by restricting us to bag sizes that are not even invented yet because they're so small. Another hack for packing light is to wear on repeat. What items can you re-wear over again? I have an exercise shirt that I can wear over black jeans and black boots and look pulled together enough to be to wear that travel outfit inside a restaurant. Then my strategy would be to wear it again another day to exercise. Another tip is if you wore a blouse for like a shell blouse to dinner one night, then wear it to brunch two days later, if that would help. That way it has time to air out and you do not feel super dirty wearing it again, but you have not had to pack an additional top to wear to brunch, for example. Another tip to re-wear outfits so that you can pack fewer trousers is to pack neutral color bottom pieces, like the navy blue or a denim color. J. Jill has some gorgeous cropped uh, wide-legged pants out there for vacations this year that are absolutely gorgeous. But even a floral option can be neutral or can be versatile for vacation outfits because you can wear those bottom floral pieces with solid color t-shirts or blouses. The hack is to pack items that you can rewear. Another tip to help you rewear items is to wash your clothes. Invest in the laundry service on your river cruise or at your vacation resort. I pack the little Tide sink packets in case I get a stain on something. They would wash probably three or four shirts in one sink in your hotel room. The number three hack to help you pack light is to pack monochromatic color scheme vacation outfits. In the winter, I pack with black bottom pieces, and in the summer, I tend to pack navy blue colored items. Like this shirt that I have right now, it would go with my coral pants like I wore in the airport. It would go with red shorts. It would go with dark blue denim. It would go with light blue denim. It would even go with white. And remember my tip is do not wear white inside the airplane for other people's stains 
pack it and wear that color white when you're on vacation. A bonus tip for packing navy blue bottom pieces or black bottom pieces is that they do not show stains easily. One of my most watched videos is what not to wear inside the airplane and I wore white two or three times inside the airplane years ago so I have done most of the things that I talk about. <laughs> now I want you to do this test for packing light pack one shade of bottom pieces and now go and choose three different shirts that would go with those trousers. It can be a black sweater with stars on it. It can be a white t-shirt that has words on it. It can be a black floral pattern shirt, but that's all one shade and it gives you three outfits while only packing one shade of pants. Now the strategy comes if you can also make some of those three shirts match and be worn with the pants that you wore inside the airplane, then you now have six outfits if you only pack that, but you know that you do have more room in your carry-on suitcase to pack even more than that, like leggings or shorts. You can easily pack one thing that I have listed as packing tips over the last couple of years and that is you want an outfit or some kind of clothing that you can have coffee in the morning with or hanging out on the back deck after dinner with or in <laughs> and the fourth best hack for packing light is to only pack one or two pairs of shoes because remember you have your airport outfit shoes as well when you are planning your packing list, I want you to look at the weather, then look at the activities you're going to be doing and say, what shoes do I need for those activities? Now try and find bottom pieces that can be worn with just those activity shoes. And then you might have room to pack a third pair if it's thin, like a pair of flip-flops or a pair of heels that you're only going to wear once on that vacation but that will help you pack lightweight and if you're strategic by using the other hacks of outfit pieces to pack you will also pack less but you still have many outfit possibilities because you've been so smart with these travel tips that's a major important tip is finding out what you really do not need to pack for that particular vacation. So I hope these tips and packing hacks help you decide that. Thanks so much for your time. And remember to add your opinions and your ideas down below in the comment section because people really do read those and some of you travel more than I do. So we've got a bunch of smart travelers and packing light, minimalist thinking friends down there who can help each other out.